Well, my friends, welcome to my continuation of my 30 day world challenge, which seems to be taking more than 30 days. Or it isn't, I don't know. Yeah, the question is, is what is the tech level? Does magic integrate? Well, once again, as this subject has come up in a different form, uh, magic by the, all terms of the sense in the way of archaic energy and or mental energy that is defined as something that somebody conjures or, or accumulates and casts, well, then I can honestly say we don't have magic. Technology, on the other hand, runs the gamut from Stone Age to high tech. And it's implied that there is additional high tech that may not may be on the games games level. So the core houses of the Imperium, the Imperium itself, in its dark deep, deepest recesses of its R and D labs and secret vaults, may have access to unknown alien technology, highly advanced technologies that they have acquired from others who they deemed weren't worthy of having. Uh, stuff they may have developed themselves and are keeping it as a ace in the hole in case they need it to conquer somebody who wants to conquer them and so on and so forth for the player for the house lord and lady the base tech level is standard imperial tech one which as i've said before i may have uh can reconsider the the system i used for develop uh, uh me measuring tech levels which would be considered star ftl basic in that aspect all of its capable of, of limited star star jumps, limited movement in space, limited sensors, limited capabilities on the ground. Most of our weapons at Tech 1 are ballistic, not too different from what we would find in the modern world, just made out of maybe more advanced uh, alloys and what have you. Uh, this tech level increases through development, which is means there's a tech tree the whole point behind that is, is as a house develops, as it increases in size, as the house lord or lady develops a uh, higher uh, ranking, then the need for higher technology becomes apparent. Uh, the real kick is higher technology that can be produced locally by the house itself. Uh, all houses begin with the ability to produce anything at tech level one or lower. And that being said, uh, if you wish to acquire higher tech level items, I, you know, purchase them from uh, movie, uh, from visiting merchants, uh, steal them from your neighbors, salvage them, scavenge them, what have you. Uh, if you have the technical expertise in the, in the way of tech specialists who can repair those things, and you can repair them and then put them in, put them to use, or you can, if you you just purchase them. Ready, ready to be used, ready to be plugged in, so to speak, and you do not have the tech level to maintain them, you can still utilize them, it just means if they break down or they get damaged, that you no longer have the ability to make use of that component. As an example, if you come across a Tech 3 star drive and you're using Tech 1 technology in your house, then you can't repair that, that star drive, you can't build your own, you can't reverse engineer it because the, the, the game mechanics isn't set up that way. So you can then pull one of your ships to the star dock or to your spaceport, have your engines pulled out, your Tech 1s for example, and replace it with this Tech 3. It's, it's a plug and ready system and they will function. You might have to rearrange the cargo or the component capacity of your ship to make it fit, but that's another set of rules or another set of topics for a different uh, entry. So, when we talk about magic, once again, if you, as the house lord or lady, uh, encounter and decide to either conquer or incorporate a lower tech uh, uh, colony or alien species under in into your house or take them under your wing as a protectorate then they have lower technology than you of course the lower lower you know the lower they go the more likely they are to be awed and and shocked and perhaps even uh fear the higher tech that you have they may misinterpret your intentions and what you're capable of they're truly uh alienated from the rest of settled space 
you know, if they have had access with outside forces, i.e. Tr trade guilds or merchants or independents or pirates or what have you, then they may not be as odd, but then they, but on the other hand, they might be greedy. That's up to the house or, or lady and however you choose to make the mechanic rolls for that. That's a neither here nor there kind of thing. So there's my answer for that sort of question.